Good morning, everyone. I am Janae Elkins, and I will be giving you all the weather briefing for December 21st, 2020. So this week, which is a holiday week, we don't really have much going on. However, we will have a cold front that will come through in the Wednesday night, early Thursday morning time frame. And with this cold front, rain and storms will be possible mainly um, during the same time frame as the front is rolling through. So that Wednesday um, through Thursday afternoon. Um, also post frontal boundary Thursday and Friday night. Um, low temperatures will be in the 20s so today we had some dense fog but has now pretty much dissipated over the entire area and now that the fog is gone um, mostly sunny skies will be expected for the remainder of the day and highs will reach in the low to mid 60s kind of area wide let's go on to tuesday still expecting no rain Temperatures will be in the lower to um, mid 60s area wide again. We'll be looking for some partly cloudy skies and some patchy fog will be possible again on Tuesday morning. As we get into Wednesday again, so this is when the front, the, the front excuse me, will be approaching the region and light to moderate rain chances will exist ahead of the cold front. And also temperatures will be on the uptick ahead of the cold front as well, as you can see in the east and kind of central parts of uh, Mississippi, temperatures will be in the mid to upper 70s. And right as the front is coming through, temperatures in the western part of Mississippi will be mainly in the 60s, some nearing just right at 70 degrees. So looking at a short term forecast over the next 48 hours, again, the cold front will be pushing through the Arkland Mids Wednesday night, early Thursday morning time frame, bringing in rain chances. As of right now, it is kind of still across some of the plains area. Um, as you can see, that cold front, that will be the same cold front that will be um, affecting us here in the Arc Lemis on Wednesday. So, again, Wednesday, Thursday will be the main days that we will see some precipitation by Thursday afternoon. Most of the rain should be gone. And as Friday and Saturday rolls around, a high pressure will take control and present weather will prevail. So looking at a seven day precipitation forecast, here is the expected rainfall over the next seven days. Wednesday and Thursday will be the best chances for some parts of the region to see up to an inch and maybe in the southeastern areas even a little bit over an inch. But again, Wednesday and Thursday will be the main days for us to see um, some moderate rainfall. And here is a look at the um, seven day forecast again today and tomorrow looking for temperatures to be in the 60s with partly cloudy um, skies Wednesday looking for that rain to come back around after the front comes through again by Thursday afternoon rain should be gone but look for temperatures to be in the um, in the 40s and um, it may be breezy, right? Because as that front coming through, it is kind of a strong front. So it may be breezy, um, gust up to possibly 25 and just looking at sustained winds anywhere between 10 to 15 miles an hour. Friday and Saturday, again, looking for rain-free days and temperatures will still be on the cooler side in the 40s to near 50s for both days. And Sunday, there is a chance for some light precipitation. But to summarize it all up again, that front will be pushing through Wednesday, expect rain and possible storm chances. And Thursday and Friday night, low, low um, temperatures will be in the 20s. All right, and that is all. So pretty much this holiday week will be a pleasant one outside of the rain Wednesday night and Thursday but outside of that, we would like to say thank you for participating and for watching um, NWS Multimedia Weather Briefing and happy holidays.